Hello everybody, my name is Grady Donahue and we're here at Boca Ciega Millennium Park. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about alluvial floodplains and bottomland forests. So uh, the overstory is in an alluvial floodplain is made, made up of typically uh, several types of oaks, hickory, elm, ash, and uh, red maples. Um, these types of areas are regularly flooded throughout the year. Um, they typically will will flood and then dry out during the dry season. Um, the soil is, is usually a mixture between sand and alluvial um, sediments. Uh, the, the soil is typically poor draining as well. Um, so the, most uh, alluvial floodplains are found in the, it's mostly widespread in the panhandle, but um, they're pretty much anywhere, they're found anywhere uh, north of Lake Okeechobee. Uh, the main disturbance for, for these types of forests are flood, is flooding, um, although um, there's not much standing water in the, the dry season, flooding is definitely an issue, or it's a, not an issue, but a, a common occurrence in this type of area. Um, with human interaction, uh, there's been a negative impact on these areas uh, due to damming or diverting rivers. Uh, this affects the seasonal flooding and then it uh, prevents the stabilization of the soil. Um, as well as uh, preventing the flush out of det detritus and other, uh, you know, unwanted uh, material. Um, bottomland forests are also being clear cut and uh, many are being converted to pine um, plantations. Um, and fire is not really a large factor for these types of areas at all. It's mostly just, uh, just the flooding. Um, so some species that you'll uh, encounter in these areas are a red maple or an Acer rubrum. Um, so right here we have a, a red maple. Uh, so they're an angiosperm and a, uh, and a dicot. Um, they are found all over Florida. Um, they're, they're found very like widely spread throughout the United States um, and they're actually super tolerant to many soil conditions. Um, so they, they can stand very dry soil and very wet soil, but typically in Florida, you'll find them in mostly wet soil. Um, they are deciduous. They can potentially grow 90 to 100 feet tall. Um, and then we can take a look at their leaves here for a second, but their leaves are, are simple and they're, they're actually opposite. Um, and they're also lobed. So you can see the lobes there. Uh, the margins are serrate to dentate, um, and then you often have uh, these red uh, petioles, and uh, sometimes they are green as well, so that's not, not a great way to I identify the, the plant, but um, it, it is a feature that you may encounter with this, this type of tree. Um, and another type of uh, tree that you might encounter in, in this area is a cypress, a bald cypress. And you can kind of see there's a few bald cypresses that look like they've probably been planted here um, based on the fact that they would they would do well in an area like this but that is a, that is another tree that you would encounter and they're easy to tell um, uh, what type of tree it is because they have really stringy bark um, as well as the the types of I don't want to say needles, but um, the, the types of leaves that they have are, are very, uh, you know, specific. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's all I have to say about the alluvial floodplain. Thank you.